स्मार्ट हो रहा है इंडिया जैसे इंडिया में बना एल स्पाय स्मार्ट एलईडी टीवी विद वर्ल्ड क्लास क्लैरिटी एंड अमेजिंग फीचर्स Congratulations on winning the first match. Uh, tell me, uh, how were the celebrations like after you won the match? No, it was really good. Um, it was really exciting. I only joined the group about two weeks ago, um, so there was a lot of learning to of half names that I didn't know or faces I didn't recognize and things like that. Um, but no, it was awesome to see um, to come into the group, and I know they had an experience, a hell of hell of success. Um, in the tournament um in past years so it was really cool to be a part of um yeah one of the first wins for them um but yeah lots of smiles and and a couple of tears and things like that because that's how much it it really meant to a lot of the girls so it was really cool to see uh but the one name you knew of the playing 11 and that was the person who took five wickets aftaham maksud the scotland legend uh, a word on yes. she has been fantastic all this year for scotland and every team she has played in Uh, how good is to have her in this tournament and then to play alongside her? No, it's awesome. I love Abs. Um, we hit it off last last year when I first played for Scotland. Um, yeah, she's an awesome girl and um, has an, an awesome sense of humour, which I think is why we get along really well. And yeah, I'm so proud of her for the, uh, for getting a five for and just just bowling really well because I knew that. Um, how good a player she is and um yeah it was really awesome to see her success um thinking about playing for scotland a uh, debut on a 50 on a debut that must have been a great feeling for you so how was that first match like for you no it was really cool so um unfortunately i couldn't attend earlier in the year um cuz i got covid they, when they played the european qualifiers my dad unfortunately gave me covid which was very very poor timing um but then eventually got to meet the girls and stuff which was really cool and and got along with the group really well and um yeah to have some personal success was was really nice but it obviously wasn't the the biggest thing at the end of the day but um no nah, really proud to i guess represent my mum's my mum's heritage her uh, being from Scotland and i know that they were watching dad mum and dad were wake were up at who knows what time cuz time zone was terrible at that time of the year um they were up at 3 a.m. or whatever it was um watch me play so yeah more just a, a proud sort of feeling more than the actual 50 um the honor to debut and um yeah hopefully can continue to find opportunities to play um touch difficult being on the other side of the world sometimes to kind of play in a lot of series but hopefully um there's a couple of series that I can attend in the future that allow me to play again um and continue to Hopefully, have some success. When you played for Scotland, you play like legends that are like the Bryce sisters and Abby, Akin Raman, and all all those players. And also, you get the opportunity to play with the likes of Elsa Lester, who scored a century recently, and Catherine Fraser, who has been a fantastic leader. So it's a group of people who actually love their cricket a lot, and they've shown it on on and off the field. So how good is it to uh, play with that group? No, it's really it's been really it was really cool. Yeah, when I first got to the group, there was a massive energy and stuff, which I think is awesome. Um the first thing that you kind of I was a little bit nervous kind of meeting the girls because obviously I don't sound very Scottish at all, so I was a bit nervous to kind of come to the group and and be really unfamiliar with the conditions to a degree. I'd never played in Scotland, been to Scotland ever since I was I was I was a little child. I don't remember being there. So, um Yeah, there's some awesome talent there. Awesome to see Elsa score 100 and hear about that with and then you've got Fraze who's just who's playing with the Diamonds now um in the UK. So there's so many girls in that team who are getting opportunities even if they're not in Scotland. They're playing in UK sides and getting better and being around professional cricketers which only helps their cricket which helps Scotland cricket which just helps women's cricket overall. Um I think we're all striving whoever plays or whoever contributes to women's sport whether it be a coach whether it be a player whether it be an administrator like you're still contributing to women's sport so it's all about us growing cricket is awesome to grow cricket but also if we can just grow women's sport around the world we've really done our jobs more than actually you know scoring runs on the field or whatever actually changing um people's perspectives on women's sport because there's a lot of there's a lot of things around do should women play sport and things like that and i think it's really cool 
that we can use. I can, I can personally use the sport as a platform to encourage people to get out and about, whether it's boys, whether it's girls. It's the reason why I coach myself, basically. So, um, no, it's a massive, awesome group there that hopefully we can have some success because I think we deserve success with the team that's there. There's so much skill there. So, hopefully we can qualify for a World Cup. That's the that's the main goal, I would say, personally. I want to try and get Scotland to qualify for the World Cup. If we get smashed, we get smashed in the World Cup. But we know that the massive step is making that World Cup. Absolutely. You've been away from the home for all these uh, experiences that you are getting. Uh, is it like, do you miss home or uh, or maybe some, some food from home or just like being around uh, people where this accent of yours is more likely to get like this is normal for those people. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, like I, so I'm an only child, so like I'm really close to my mum and dad um, back home, so I try and talk to them, I guess, as regularly as I can. At the moment, being here, time zone is actually okay, it's only nine hours, so I can actually talk to them in the morning or at night, whereas when it gets to 11, it's a bit more touch and go. Um, so, no, no, I try and keep in contact with them through kind of even through Instagram posts and things like that, and they know what's going on. and. Dad loves it. Dad will stay up till whatever time to watch any game. And he'll, I think he met even message. He was even messaged Abs to say congrats on her Pfeiffer. So um, they love it, and and their massive supporters. I'm very grateful for all of the support and what they've kind of done to get me to where I am now. Yeah. Uh, speaking about your dad, actually, this is the one thing I remember is a video, undercover coach, feature, featuring you and your dad with Elise Perry as your coach. I remember that video. Your mother has posted it on YouTube. One of the one of the finest videos I have ever seen. What what are your memories of shooting that uh, video for the undercover coach? Uh, yeah, I mean, I was I think I was I was either ten or eleven, um, and then we kind of I don't even know how they even reached out to us. They kind of maybe through um, primary school sort of stuff and and just reached out and said would would we be interested in doing this? I had seen it on TV before, and I was like, yeah, I mean, why not? Like. Mum and dad were like, yeah, sure. And then, but no, dad loves to do his little feature in it. He loves it. He says he's got the, he said he, had, he did the biggest role and he, and he's the best actor in it. And, um, which he claimed, it's a bit of his claim to fame, I think sometimes, but, um, but no, he's, yeah, it's awesome. It was, it was a cool experience. Obviously, Elise Perry is one of my idols growing up. I played a lot of soccer as well. So I played rep soccer at home. So kind of did the same sort of thing. And then cricket took priority when I, end up being better at it than, than soccer so um, but no it was a good experience smart ho raha india jaise india mein bana alista smart led tv with world class clarity and amazing features